Well, it's a problem with hardly any solution. Unlicensed weed shops popping up all over the city. But if these stores aren't licensed to do business, it begs the question, where are they getting their supply from? All right, Fox 5's Arthur Chan tagged along with the NYC Sheriff's Office on another bust and is getting some answers. It may be a new year, but an old problem has the attention of the New York City Sheriff's Department and other law enforcement agencies on this day as its war on illegal weed sales in New York City continues. This is all flower. Fox 5 was there exclusively as police took down Jackie's garden, not quite hidden, on the corner where the Jackie Robinson Parkway ends and converges with Bushwick, Jamaica, and Pennsylvania Avenues. Officers blitzed the Cypress Hills location with Sheriff Anthony Miranda overseeing the operation himself. Jackie's garden was ready for visitors with trap compartments and hiding spots like this bookshelf. So it's like a bookshelf? It's a bookshelf, you wouldn't know. Opens up, it's magnetized, comes into another room. Behind the bookshelf, a stash house. And they got more product in here. Come in. Inside, pretty much a catalog of illegal weed, from the flower itself to products that shamelessly target underage consumers and even kids. Backpack boys. Not just through their packaging, but also the product itself. These, for instance, are miniature ice cream cones. If a child ever found this, they wouldn't think twice about eating it. One of these can get someone significantly high. What it would do to a child would just could cripple them. And that's if the child only eats one of them. Sheriff Miranda then showed us a night window where sales are made presumably during off hours when another stash house was found. You found more back there? In yet another room, in everyday laundry bags, bags and bags of weed, unlabeled. The sheriff explains what customers are actually buying when they're purchasing unregulated weed. People are not smoking a different quality weed. What they're smoking, the chemicals that are put onto these things to make them more potent. That's what makes it more dangerous. And in addition to the drugs on the table, cash. By an early count, upwards of $100,000 would be seized at this location. A combination of weed, weed products, and cash. On the spot, three individuals were arrested. As the city continues its crackdown, we ask the question, where is all this illegal weed coming from? And on this raid, we started getting some answers. There are multiple sources of the unlicensed and illegal stuff that's coming into New York City. As we take a closer look, much of the products omit their origins, but Sheriff Miranda knows where to look. This doesn't even say where it's from, right? Right, so really, you flip it on the QR code side and you can track it here. It should be able to give you information about where its origins are from. Just about all of the products that we saw have QR codes, but many of the products Fox 5 scanned went to dead-end sites. A sign, Miranda says, that the illegal shops want to make their products look official when they really are not. We see labels, some of them may, may be legitimate. We also found uh, false labels, so they're manufacturing their own labels now. And here's evidence supporting his theory. Bags of weed and ready-to-go packaging on site with labels, which can be assembled at the store, out of sight. Digging further, we ask who is supplying all this illegal weed into New York City. The majority of the illegal weed coming into New York State is actually legally manufactured in other states. Damian Fagan is with the state's Office of Cannabis Management, which says more than $57 million of illegal cannabis was seized in New York last year, mostly coming from states that legalized but have seen their growing outpace heavily consumer demand. California, Michigan, now Maine, there are a lot of growers uh, that just like our state may not have, you know, enough uh, available access to legal stores in their own state. From there, Fagan says it's economics that drives all of that product to us. The price for, for a pound of legal cannabis has dropped from $1,500 to $200. When they only can sell, sell their pound for $200 at a legal shop in Michigan, but $2,000 in New York State, this, that's the supply and demand that is, uh, you know, really bringing a lot of that product to, to, to New York. Whether it's California, Maine, or Michigan, clearly illegal weed is coming into the New York City market. And the key question now is how to stop that flow at a time when it seems there are stores in just about every neighborhood in New York City. For the Office of Cannabis Management, the solution is in recent changes to the law that include how landlords are now held accountable for renting to tenants selling illegal weed. The first operation to be padlocked under the new law was in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn in December. We are going to shut the property down. We are going to levy you know, up to $10,000 a day uh, against these landlords. 
um, for, for continuing to, to push illicit product into our communities. And for the sheriff's department, its ask is for legislators to allow them to use the same law on their raids, a joint effort to root out and dry up commercial retail operations for illegal sellers. Arthur Chien, Fox 5 News.